What's going on, y'all? Monty here. Yeah, I'm trying to put my phone down so I can make a quick video. And it looks like I can't put my phone down, so I'll... Damn. This sucks. I kind of don't want, to, want it to stop. You know when, like, you, wanna, you want things to not go your way so you can procrastinate? That's me right now. But I'm trying to make it work. You know, the God in me is telling me to make it work. And I will. See? Perfect. Manifestations. Right there. Perfect manifestation. So I'll just lean over. So, um, you know, this video is going to be titled Meditation Story. This is my personal story that I've had with meditation. Um, and it's just like a quick experience, you know. Um, I want to share with you guys what it's like to meditate before and after you know the feeling how it feels before and after and you know i'm not going to be too wordy i always like to be quick to the point because i don't want to lose you guys while i'm talking you know i've seen a bunch of videos where the dude just like talks way too much youtuber talks way too much it's like why am i watching this but anyway we're gonna stay focused so this was about two years ago two years ago and it was one night I was chilling in my room and let's make sure you guys can see me. One night I was chilling in my room and this necklace is like, so you guys know, it's a picture of me and my mom. You can't really see it. You kind of see the face. There it is. Picture of my mom holding me when I was a little kid. You know, my mom is my, that's my everything. That's my everything. She raised me from the floor up. And I would be nothing without her, even to this day, you know. So everything I do, you know, start out with having her in mind, for sure, for sure. But, um, you know, she worked, like, I know this might be off topic, but she, like, put her whole heart out to the world just to bring me up, you know, like, carried me on her back by herself. And that's just the power of a strong woman, you know no child support no ebt no drugs no cigarettes no weed just straight hard-working woman and you know she created this life for me you know so i owe everything to her everything i do is for her you know at the bottom of my heart but i'm also here to save the world so focusing on this meditation story like i said i was in my room right it was one night, like 8, 8.30, 9 o'clock at night. Before I meditated, I was pretty hungry. And when I first started meditating, um, when I first started meditating, you know, I had like the thoughts and the bickering in my head. And, you know, for the people that say that they can't meditate, yeah, you cannot meditate because of the energy that you're putting inside of your head, right? We're constantly programming our minds, constantly with thoughts. So if you tell yourself, I can't sit down, it's true. If you tell yourself, I can't focus for that long, I can't turn my thoughts off, it's true. You achieve what you believe. You achieve whatever you believe. So if you don't believe you can meditate, then you can't. But if you believe that you can meditate, then you can, right? It's all about what you tell yourself. So, I mean, you know, because I used to run track back in the day, I had meditated a couple times. So it wasn't my first time meditating, but this was definitely the, the deepest meditation I've ever had in my entire life. And I probably before then I meditated about four times, five times, but it was never it was never the same, you know. The other ones were sports related, like yoga meditation, but this was actually just like sitting down, turning your mind off and just being one with the universe. One with, you know, connecting to God. And so I'm like on my bed, you know, I was actually, I was laying down, you know, people think you need to be sitting upright for meditation. People think, you know, you have to have certain posture. I was laying on my back, man. I was on my bed. It's like comfy as hell. And I sat down and, you know, I closed my eyes and I just stopped thinking. Like I stopped thinking. I just didn't think at all. And... You know, I didn't, I wasn't thinking, I wasn't thinking, I was meditating, and it's like, I was, 
further and further just drifting away from my body as I was meditating. You know, and you can kind of see it. Like, you can visualize it with the thoughts. Now, I say I was drifting away from my body just meant I was spending more and more time without having a single thought flow through my mind. So I'm literally, as a spirit, traveling away from my aura, flying out of my aura. And I'm sitting down, and I'm just meditating, and there was a moment where I literally felt an energy, like I felt a connection. And I'm not trying to sound, you know, all spiritual, I'm not trying to sound crazy, but there was like a brief, I think it was for a minute long, that I genuinely felt a connection to the universe. Like I felt a connection to God. I felt a connection to what I would call God, you know? And what that connection was, was just like, it, it felt like I was outside of myself. Genuinely felt like I was outside of myself. And I held on to that frequency, right? I held on to that vibration because when you're meditating, you're ascending and you hold on to the frequency that, you know, feels right, feels righteous. So I, I held on to that frequency and I just sat on it for like, you know, X amount of time. And, you know, by the time I was finished meditating, I kid you not, I was a different person. I was in a different mind state. My mind state had completely changed. Like I felt like I was like three weeks in the future. That's what it felt like. And there was just nothing like, it literally felt like I was outside of my head, but I'm, I was still in my head, but I was just outside of everything that I was like thinking prior to that. You know, like I was hungry before I meditated and after I meditated, I wasn't even hungry anymore. I was gonna hang out with someone. And after I meditated, I was just like, do I even wanna hang out with this person? I don't even wanna hang out anymore. So it really just changed my whole, like, my whole aura had completely changed, you know? And after I finished meditating, that state that I was in, I never left. That's another thing. I was in a certain state before I meditated. And then after I meditated, I saw life differently. And I just kept that life. I didn't go back to my my previous way of thinking. I, I stayed in this meditative state. And I never just like connected back to myself the same way. So... And like still to this day, you know, it, it's what makes me a passive person. It, it's what keeps me very grounded at all times because I'm now tuned into nature more than I was before. You know, so I'm now tuned into Zen more than I was before. And, you know, that's my meditation experience. Um, it changed me it connected me to nature that's what it did it connected me to nature it connected me more to nature and now it's something that it's just a part of me you know like i don't feel it i can't tell you exactly the difference but it's it's a part of my aura now and now when i talk i hear nature more i don't just hear my thoughts i hear nature i hear the trees you know i'm i I'm connected to the trees more since I meditated. And, you know, nature is our best friend. You know, they say nature is actually scientifically proven that nature vibrates at the perfect frequency. So when you're in a bad mood, you just tap into nature, you know, and take a deep breath. And it, it it's like a refresher, like, it lets you know that life isn't that real. Life isn't that deep. Life isn't that serious. You're still here as a human, you know? You exist as a human. So it definitely helped my depression levels, like went down a lot. 
you know, stress levels just permanently went down a lot. You know, it, it makes me think of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, where, you know, if you guys have ever played that game, but like, you know, you, you swim underwater for X amount of time and like your lung capacity, like the bar goes up. So I guess to translate that to my experience, it's like my nat my connection with nature increased. And when your connection with nature increases, life just stresses you out less because you're more connected to God. You're more connected to nature. God is nature. So yeah, it changed me as a person. Like when I was done med meditating, I was just like, whoa. Like, still in life, you know, you forget that you're a person. When you meditate for a long enough time and you come back down, you're like, oh, yeah, I'm back in these shoes. Like, you can people, you can ascend that high, you know, that's what it feels like. So, you know, I don't want this to be too long of, it, of, of a video, but I wanted to share with you guys my personal meditation experience. And I want you guys to also plant in your mind that if you tell yourself you can't meditate, it's because you're telling yourself you can't meditate. Like, you believe what you think. So all you have to do is change the way that you're thinking. Tell yourself, meditation is possible for me. You know, control your manifestations. Don't let your manifestations control you. Control your body. Don't let your body control you. You know, this is coming from a former college scholar athlete. And I'm not saying that's rubbing in anyone's face, you know, but like, you know, I have one of the fastest times in the history of my school. And all that means is that I've mastered controlling my body and not letting my body control me. So this is coming from this is just coming from someone with professional experience with controlling their body. Because I know not, you know, not everyone has had the, that experience and you know it's just like I don't know like I've, I'm I'm just saying I'm not new to this like you know I know my body is something that I control because I pushed it to its limits so many times so know that you guys can control your body just the same you know don't make excuses for me don't say oh because he's an athlete you know because he's this because he's that he's able to do it no I've just trained myself to, to get used to it. So maybe you need to train yourself to get used to it. And, you know, start off with a three minute meditation session, you know, see how that goes. And then, you know, you do well with that, hop off to a five minute meditation, um, you know, sit down. And for me, that experience that I had was a 10 minute meditation. So I experienced all of that within a 10 minute meditation. I've never even meditated for longer than 10 minutes in my entire life. You know, I would like to try a 30 minute meditation, but I'm like, I'm, I'm pretty based. I'm pretty grounded. I don't really need to do that. And I don't really have the patience to do that, honestly. But yeah, guys, I'm um, staying focused. So yeah, that's my meditation story. And, you know, I hope I was able to shed some light on you guys today. Uh, it's a rainy day out here in Georgia. But, yeah, I hope you guys are staying blessed. And, you know, I wish the best for everyone. And especially if you made it this far in the video, I want you to know I love you. I appreciate you. You know, uh, please drop a comment. You know, just saying anything, like help this page to get out there, you know. Drop a like. Um, help me get out there help other people to see this story as well and you know i appreciate you guys and yeah i'll catch you on the flip side peace out monty out later guys